Hi. Um, what I'm about to say will probably get me in hot water, especially with O'Blamer and the liberal media and the globalists. Well, O'Blamer's a globalist, you know. And the media is owned by the globalists. It could, buy, could be my imagination, but it seems that the Muslims are getting friskier. It seems like every day now, a Muslim is doing something very medieval, you know, using axes and knives to now, uh, or, you know, trucks or something like that to kill non-Muslims, and killing them in Germany of all places. Germany let in Muslims by the hundreds of thousands. I think over, I think over a million. And what? And, and how did the Muslims show their gratitude? By using knives and axes and machetes now to kill them. Isn't that something? Talk about gall. Talk about biting the hand that feeds you. You know what I mean? Now, I think I have a solution here. Under Sharia law, it's okay to kill a non-Muslim. Especially if that non-Muslim is not paying Jizya tax. Protection money. Uh, as a matter of fact, Islam can't survive without jizya tax because if you're a pious Muslim you don't really have time to work yeah because you have to have your patootie up in there five times a day you have to wash and everything if, if you want to do it right you know of course a lot of Muslims say oh I just uh, wash my hands and, and just bow and blah blah it only takes like two seconds no if you want to do it right it takes like almost an hour you know so really true Islam cannot survive without Forcing non-Muslims to pay jizya tax, and as I said, under Islam, under Sharia, it's it's you know it's 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 bad to kill non-Muslims who pay jizya tax. But again, if you don't pay jizya tax, which can be almost uh, eighty-five percent, around eighty-five percent of your earnings if you're a Christian under ISIS, or be, get killed, uh, you know. If you're not paying jizya tax, you, there's no problem if the Muslim kills you. So I'm thinking this way. To end these terrorist attacks by the Muslims, a law is passed where all non-Muslims can buy guns. No problem. Any kind of gun. But a, non, but, but a Muslim can't buy a gun. As a matter of fact, if a Muslim is found out to have a gun, it's a capital offense. You know, they can't have guns. Zero. You, and if you and if you sell a gun to a Muslim, you get killed. It's a capital offense. And under this law, if you shoot a Muslim, you know, it, well, it depends on how you shoot a Muslim. I mean, if if you if you you know, kill him dead without suffering no problem but if you torture them then there's a problem here if they did that where it was a reverse Sharia law situation where it was okay to have you know non-muslims have guns and Muslims not guns and it was okay lack and the law you know there's no problem if they shot a Muslim I think that would end Sharia I, I think it would end the uh, Muslim attacks really fast as a matter of fact I think it might even end Islam Non-Muslims armed, Muslims not armed. I think that would do it. I think that would end all this, this stuff that's getting way out of hand. But 